it's Christmas Day. Uh, it's the John chapter one readings that always sort of feel like a letdown from the nativity story in Luke read in the old King James version that you would never ever read except on Christmas Eve because it just sort of feels right. John chapter one on Christmas Day, the smaller service but bigger service is uh, in the beginning was the word. And that's important to recognize because there's something really important there. In the beginning was the word. That means that the word existed before the thing it described. Before there was a creation, there was a word for it. Before everything fell apart and left us wondering, there was an explanation for it, an understanding, a comfort. See, we're not matching words to creation. God is matching creation to his word. So when words don't line up with what we see, words like, you know, peace and hope and love and Merry Christmas, we don't have to sort of go looking to find them. Uh, it's not that we have to find the right words to describe things so that God will sort of be seen in the, the mix. Before anything ever went wrong, God was already speaking the answer, a truth powerful enough to conquer everything that would become wrong. That word is made flesh. God becomes man. John was sent from God to bear witness about the light that darkness could not overcome, but he borrowed the word. There already was a word that existed. Even before ever creation existed, there was the word, light. And here, light takes flesh. Light descends. The word becomes flesh. Darkness is defeated. Jesus is born. Through John, people would come to believe, uh, but all of it is sharing a word that is already in existence because the word was supposed to confront the darkness. It was supposed to be given to people in a creation where the words that we have like peace and hope and love don't match up with what we see going on around us. But that word still speaks and more just like in the beginning when the word spoke and creation knit itself according to how things were supposed to be. That is why the word was made flesh. Christmas is not just get together with a family and give gifts. It is the word coming to earth to address what went wrong, to reshape it back how it's supposed to be. For when the word takes on human flesh, it is to bear your sins, my sins, the world's sins upon the cross, die and rise again. The creation on the last great day would be restored. That words like peace and hope would make sense again, because Christ has come to earth. The word was made flesh. God becomes man for you. What do you value? At Concordia University, Nebraska, we value the equipping of church workers for lives of service to both church and world. In a culture where our faith can often be met with derision, our world needs ardent Christian leaders to rise to the helm and steer the next generation of Christ followers into new territory. You have the God-given gifts. We have the tools to uncover and develop them. We are Nebraska's university with values.